thank you for giving me such a great opportunity first. And my question is related to the balance between the the DFD policy and the World Bank budget. And the one with the, the important um, achievement or work uh, during the, the President Wolfenstein age might be the, 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 the policy of the increasing policy of the DFD. And as I come from Japan, who, who has experienced reconstruction, I really feel the need for uh, the, the DFD in the, the countries, especially which are the poorest or the poor. But um, if there is a increasing amount of the debt relief, and then that you uh, face is a pro problem of the, the budget of the World Bank, how to keep the budget. So, um, so how do you how do you um, how do you think uh, the World Bank can take a balance between the increasing need for the debt relief and the, the keeping uh, for mm. the World Bank budget? Mm, that's a good question. Um, you know, debt relief is something else which um, James Wilkinson put on the agenda, at least as far as multilateral lenders like the World Bank were concerned. Uh, what had happened before he came to the World Bank in 1995 was that uh, some country governments had started forgiving debt uh, in poor countries, but the multilateral lenders, the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, um, had not done that, and, and they argued until 1995 uh, that you didn't really need to. And that was one of the first things that Jim Wilfinson uh, reversed. Um, he basically had the attitude of a private banker. He had come from Wall Street. Look, you know, if you've lent some money to somebody and they can't pay you back, you know, stop pretending they're going to pay you back. You know, recognize it. Uh, and so he, he broke that taboo. Uh, and uh, in fact, I think the Japanese government was one of the ones that didn't like him to break that taboo, but he did it. Um, uh, and um, he, uh, he went ahead with that. Now, it does raise potentially um, some problems uh, for the World Bank because if it obviously forgives the debt uh, then um, it's not going to get that money back uh, and really what what is going to determine how serious that is is how much the rich countries that give money to support the World Bank's lending whether they respond to that by giving a bit extra uh, because every three years the World Bank uh, goes around the rich countries and says uh, please contribute money to our soft loan fund. The World Bank makes two kinds of loan. One is commercial, where basically uh, you lend, you borrow money on Wall Street by issuing World Bank bonds. Uh, take that uh, money that you've got from Wall Street quite cheaply because you're the World Bank and they know that you're going to pay back. And then you lend it on to a developing country uh, at a tiny uh, spread, a uh, tiny profit, um, and uh, that country pays you back and then you pay Wall Street back and so there is no cost to any taxpayers anywhere. And that accounts for perhaps two-thirds or so, uh, perhaps a bit less than two-thirds now, uh, of the World Bank's lending. But then there is this other chunk, which is subsidized by rich countries. It's not a question of going to Wall Street and borrowing the money commercially. It's going to governments and saying, please give us some aid. And then the aid is passed on. Um, traditionally, it's been in the form of um, sort of what's called soft loans, where uh, you don't have to pay back for a certain period of time. Um, then you pay back, but you don't pay interest, basically. Um, now that's been supplemented. Some of them are just straight grants, not even you have to pay back. So, um, uh, so that's the bit that needs to be subsidized. That's the bit where debt relief could really um, eat into the ability to make those soft credits to poor countries. And whether it eats into it will depend on whether the United States, France, Britain, Germany, Japan, uh, and the other rich countries uh, continue to give money every three years to the World Bank soft loan window so that it can continue to be an active force.